We have seven devastating weapons to go over as the best guns in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, including the most meta loadouts for each weapon. This list will adapt and change as the seasons go on, but these are currently the best weapons. Starting this video off, we have what is undoubtedly the best gun in the entire game right now, and it is the Tire Pistol. On its own, it isn't great, but combine this with the Akimbo attachment and the Snake Shot ammunition, and this becomes the strongest weapon in the entire game. When fully pack-a-punched and at the legendary rarity, this will be able to one-shot zombies, hellhounds, armored zombies, and will take down special zombies like the Mangler, the Mimic, and the Disciple in just a few shots. It is also the most powerful weapon that you can use to do damage quickly to the Mega Abomination in the High Threat Zone. There isn't many weapons in the game that can deal this much damage this quickly. One thing you want to take note of when using this weapon, however, is that it only has a limited range. The Snake Shot Ammunition does help to increase the damage range slightly, by tightening the bullet spread, but there are some other attachments you can use to help increase this range and stay accurate. But when I say this is the most powerful gun in the game, it is the only weapon that I've used that is capable of taking down the Stormcaller boss that exists inside the Aether Storm quicker than any other weapon possible. With a fully pack-a-punched set of tire pistols, I was able to take the Stormcaller down in about 10 seconds flat, something which is literally impossible for any other weapon to do. It is quite simply the best weapon to use against elite bosses in this mode by none. The only downside is that it only has five bullets per clip, so you'll have to run speed cola in order to be super efficient with these pistols. And on top of that, you have to use Deadshot Daiquiri to increase that critical damage to make sure that this weapon stays a one shot. So the Gunsmith build for this is as follows. You want to have the one MW pistol laser to increase the accuracy when hip firing, which is what this pistol is going to be doing. You want to use the ZIU-16 heavy long barrel, the snake shot ammunition, the Ewell's Fury trigger action to be able to shoot quicker, and of course, the Akimbo tire rear grip. The next best weapon in Modern Warfare Zombies is going to be the crossbow from Modern Warfare 2. Combining this with the Fermite bolts as your ammunition makes the crossbow one of the best weapons to use in the tier 3 zone. You can shoot three bolts at a time before you need to reload, but the reload is extremely quick, and due to the nature of the Fermite bolts dealing fire damage, this is incredibly effective against the Mega Abomination and other elite bosses in the game where fire damage is their weakness. But even if fire isn't their weakness, the fact that this will do continuous damage after it's shot is incredible. And just like the pistols can insta-kill zombies and heavy zombies inside the tier 3 zone, you're also extremely mobile sprinting around with this crossbow, and it's so easy to use that you don't even have to aim down sight. Combining this with Speed Cola and Deadshot Daiquiri again, you'll be able to take out hordes of zombies with absolute ease, and it's highly recommended as a support weapon for crowd control for the zombies whilst bringing in a separate weapon like the akimbo tire pistols for taking down bosses. But this crossbow is so quick to reload especially if you have speed cola. Only downside to the crossbow is that the ammo runs out very quickly and if you are on empty and go to an ammo cache to refill it will only fill a clip or two of the crossbow so you need to make sure that you're always killing hordes so that they drop ammo so that you'll always have more. Jumping into the gunsmith you're going to find this in marksman rifles as a Modern Warfare 2 weapon and the main thing you want to put on is going to be the Bright Blaze 20 inch bolts. These are the Fermite tipped bolts that make this crossbow absolutely incredible. When it comes to the wire, we're going to put on the 28 strand cable. Arms, we're going to put on the SO Momenti and the FT.CB stock. The next best weapon in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is going to be the WSP Swarm. Now, usually this on its own is terrible, but for week three of the weekly challenges, there is an after market part that converts these into akimbo mini uzis now that it's akimbo both of these smgs have a hundred bullets per magazine and when packer punched become 200 bullets in a magazine now these can both be shot at the exact same time or you can switch between using the left pistol until that runs out of ammo and then switching to the right but having collectively 400 bullets before you need to reload these can put out an incredible amount of damage with continuous fire from both the left and right pistol these are so much fun to use and are so good for crowd control for hordes in the tier 3 zone as you've just got so much ammo to work with. Having the essential perks again like Speed Cola and Deadshot Daiquiri will equal the max damage output and incredibly fast reloads which only take about a second to reload 200 bullets into each magazine of the Akimbo Swarms. The only downside to these is that you are pretty slow when it comes to your movement speed. We're going to make sure the build in the gunsmith helps when it 
comes to movement while shooting, but unfortunately while sprinting, you are going to be pretty slow. But the amount of damage you can put with the amount of bullets that you have definitely makes up for it. So jumping into the build, you want to make sure that you have the WSP Reckless 90 Long Barrel, the Hip Shot L20 Laser, the 9mm Overpressured Plus P Ammunition, the 100 round drum so you get that incredible 200 rounds per magazine, and then of course the WSP Akimbo Brace Stock Conversion Kit. This can only be gotten as an aftermarket part reward for completing the Week 3 Challenges. These challenges can be completed in either multiplayer or zombies and by simply completing five challenges from the week three you'll be able to unlock that attachment moving on to our next weapon and this is going to be the m16 from modern warfare 2 now this is a very unexpected weapon in my opinion to put in this video but the reason is the m16 is always been known as that iconic three burst auto assault rifle but when you pack a punch this inside of zombies it becomes fully automatic something that i think we should have seen in zombies many many years ago but it's finally here and it is a pretty decent assault rifle to run as i can definitely feel it do more damage by the fact that that three round burst has now been turned into an automatic now when it comes to the build in the gunsmith there isn't any attachments that are going to set you apart from anyone else but these are the ones that i recommend you use anyway the ftac ripper 56 underbarrel the 5.56 armor piercing ammunition the 60 round magazine so you have the most amount of ammo that you can in a clip the Cronin Mini Pro Optic, and the Corio Precio Factory Stock. We're over halfway through the guns, but if you're enjoying the video so far and you want to keep up to date with more videos like this when new seasons drop for zombies, then be sure to subscribe. And if you're enjoying, let me know by dropping a thumbs up. Next best weapon in Modern Warfare Zombies is going to be the RGL-80, which is the only launcher in Modern Warfare 3. Now, I am sure you've seen and heard of this already, but this thing is an absolute monster inside of zombies. This weapon is so good that even if you just have a double pack a punch it is going to absolutely destroy everything in the high threat zone it goes without saying but a weapon this explosive has to be paired with phd flopper in order for you to have the most success out of it but when it comes to crowd control i don't think many other weapons will beat the fact that the rgl 80 is so destructive unfortunately the rgl 80 isn't as good at taking out elite bosses due to the fact that you have to be direct with the explosive grenades in order to do the maximum amount of damage but if you're in a situation where you're crowded and you're about to go down then there is no better weapon than this plus this weapon has a secret bonus feature which makes this so useful if you're going for infested strongholds because of the damage and how incredible it is you can literally just spam it to get rid of the spores in infested stronghold without even having to risk going in there is no other weapon that has the ability to do that and i absolutely love it for it now if you pair this with speed cola as well as p HD, you're gonna have a great time and there are no attachments for this weapon so you don't even need to build it in the gunsmith the next best weapon for modern warfare 3 zombies is going to be the p90 from modern warfare 2 now this is a very unique weapon because it is an smg but when it's packer punched it has the ability to perform like an lmg with the ammo count of an lmg but be as portable and mobile like an smg when you pack a punch this p90 it has 400 bullets with in a single magazine. Its max ammo count is 800 bullets, so you can use all of them in just two clips. Now, because of this, it is the ultimate weapon to use against crowds of zombies because you will never ever have to reload due to that incredible ammo size. The negatives of this weapon is it isn't the strongest weapon that you can use, but because of that ammo count, it truly balances it out. Where well, you can just continually spray this at zombies and eventually you will get them and you still won't need to reload. Combining this with Deadshot Daiquiri, Speed Cola and Elemental Pop will grant you some incredible power against the zombie hordes and bosses and this weapon is so good that i'm rating it as the best weapon to use in the orcas boss fight now i believe in this boss fight every single weapon is tuned to perform the same amount of damage no matter what weapon you use but due to the amount of ammo that you have within a single clip this is the ultimate weapon to use against orcas because you can just focus on those weak points without ever having to reload and as a solo player it only took me about three minutes to take down orcas with the p90 so let 
me show you the meta build for it in the gunsmith. The first attachment we're going to put on is a barrel, that being the FTAC Series 9 14.5 inch barrel. For muzzle, we're going to put on the Bruin Pendulum. For laser, we're going to put on the AccuShot 5MW. For optic, we're going to put on the Cronin Mini Pro. And for stock, we're going to put on the Hollow Extended Stock. All of these attachments increase its damage range and reduce the recoil to make this an absolute monster in zombies. The next best weapon to use in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is going to come as a surprise, and it is almost every melee weapon. Modern Warfare 3 introduces two new melees, the Gutter Knife and the Karambit. Both of these melee knives are absolutely incredible, and even in the low threat when you first spawn in, it's going to be a one knife kill to any basic zombie. But when we get this thing pack a punch tier 2 to tier 3 and take it into the medium threat, this thing will not only one knife zombies, but it will also one knife any elite and also any bounty. It is absolutely insane. The bonuses to using this in the medium and the high threat zone is that these weapons do not hinder your movement speed whatsoever. So in the high threat zone, it is advised to run around always with your fists out so that you can outrun the zombies and outrun the hellhounds. But with this and stamina, you'll be running at the exact same speed whilst also being able to do incredible damage. What makes these knives so incredible is that they are so quick to swipe at zombies. You can do multiple slashes at a time without ever having to worry about the zombies hitting you back unless you were in a massive horde. It's a fantastic weapon to have as your second weapon that you would normally substitute for your fists and make zombie killing in the high threat zone just so much fun. But this is not the only melee weapons that you can use because there is a Modern Warfare 2 melee weapon called the Tonfa, which has an even faster melee than those two two knives. It will output the same amount of damage because at the end of the day, it is still a melee weapon. But because of that faster kniving animation, this makes it superior, in my opinion, to those two knives. Now, can you kill elite bosses in the high threat zone using this knife? I mean, you definitely can, but it is very, very risky to go that close up to the bosses. But it will kill hellhounds in two very quick hits. It will kill zombies in one to two hits, depending on if it's armored or not. And you're just extremely mobile which is always good. And the beauty of this game is you can put ammo mods onto any of these melee weapons as well to make them even stronger. But to top of this video, the final weapon that is the best to use in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies is obviously going to be the Ray Gun. No surprises there, of course, but the Ray Gun remains the best wonder weapon in all of current zombies to use. The amount of damage the Ray Gun outputs, it is incredible. It is so quick to reload as well with Speed Cola and makes for a weapon that if you come across it, you simply should never avoid it. The one downside to the ray gun compared to previous iteration of zombies is that it has a slower rate of fire, quite noticeable, which is its only negative. But if you pair this with PhD flopper, speed cola, stamina up, deadshot daiquiri, then you have one of the best weapons in the game without doubt. If you enjoyed the video and learned something new, let me know by dropping a thumbs up and I'd love to know below if any of these builds you use end up being great for you in your games.